we are the Presidents Against Hunger group within the Dean's Leadership 50. The DL50 is a student organization within CALS dedicated to building entrepreneurship and career, career skills that students can use once they graduate and try to enter the workforce. Um, our group, the Presidents Against Hunger team, was dedicated to determining the feasibility of implementing the Presidents Against Hunger campaign at the University of Arizona campus. I'm Rachel Klaus Walker. I'm Alexandra Maya. I'm Brady Sorensen. I'm Gabriela Centrami. I'm Jennifer Lopez. I'm Daniel Pasani. We'd like to thank you all for joining us today, and if you could please hold your questions till the end, and we'll be happy to answer them at that point. I can't remember my questions at all. So our group, we got the project with Presidents Against Hunger. It is um, an, an initiative to bring uh, awareness to starvation onto campus. It is known as Presidents United to Solve Hunger in Auburn University. Our, our uh, prompt was to try to incorporate it into campus and we tried to establish this in order to promote students and um, give them some, feed, some information on what hunger is and what we can do about it. This is just a presentation of the beer what we're going to go over, why it's important, the background, introduction, methods, the data collection we, results we got, and the recommendations that we have. Why this is important? The results of hunger and malnutrition, negative effects on like education, and like just negative effects in the community. Um, negative labor market, so people aren't getting enough uh, food for their whole workforce and what they need for the whole day. And these are some interesting facts that we found. 805 million people do not have an adequate diet for a healthy lifestyle. Poor nutrition caused the deaths in 45% of children under the age of five. And one in six children are underweight in developing countries. Uh, Auburn University created a push in December of 2014, just recently. Um, they're a global leader in the fight against hunger. And they partnered with the United Nations World Food Program in 2004 to help solve this. Um, members of PUSH at Auburn share collective data, collective knowledge in the areas where they like, where hist like the history has um, hunger been addressed at. And, the and they all collaborate to find solutions to solve these areas. These are the steps to PUSH. First, you need to get a petition. And uh, you need to get within the university uh, members that will support it and will be behind it. And then you take that petition to the president, that way she could be able to sign it. Um, in the second step, you're gonna engage students, faculty, and a different service group that are behind this 100%. That way you can move forward and push against hunger. And third is the events, where you join major events, uh, host local events, such as educational campaigns. That way you can educate the people around the community um, and another big event that you could join would be a good one, would be World Food Day on October 16th. Okay, so our group has the um, role to research more on the feasibility of Presidents Against Hunger. We actually conducted two main goals, which are our priority, and these two goals were based on measuring the feasibility of implementing Presidents Against Hunger at the University of Arizona. This meant we had to research how much the students were interested and how committed they would be on having this organization at the U of A. And our other goal was also to compel the President Hart in signing the President's commitment. And this is actually really important for this organization to keep on going. Um, our objectives throughout these goals was to launch a Facebook page because social media is one of the most popular ways to spread the word about Presidents Against Hunger. Uh, create and distribute surveys, and these surveys were based mostly for the uh, students and uh, to know their like opinion.